Do I look a little tired? Cause I am tired. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am beyond excited because today we're gonna be doing just like legit a little how I like to call We're gonna be doing a good old get ready with me and honestly, we're getting ready because why not? I have nowhere to go, but <laughs> we are gonna be smothering this face right here for absolutely no reason. <laughs> and we are just gonna be having a good old chit chat get ready with me. Uh, I did do a little bit of shopping for the Sephora sale. Did I need to? Absolutely not. Did I? Yes. I wanted to test out some like new little goodies that I picked up from Sephora. So, so if you guys would like, grab a snack, get your makeup, and let's just have a good old little chit chat, get ready with me. And technically this is, I guess, not necessarily my everyday makeup routine, but some of the steps that I will be incorporating is kind of like my everyday makeup routine. So here we go. <laughs> Aquaphor. <laughs> We're starting off this makeup routine with Aquaphor because my skin in the winter time, guys, it is drier than a safari desert and my skin literally drinks up this Aquaphor. This Aquaphor is really great and not gonna lie, this bad boy right here probably lasts me a lot longer than most of my majority of my moisturizers. So this one works really great. It's for advanced therapy, dry, cracked, irritated skin me so i'm kind of excited because i have no idea what kind of makeup look i'm gonna go for today like it could literally go either or but we're starting off again with a little bit of more moisturizer this is the dr jart the vital hydration solution hydro plump water cream this is seriously one of my favorite moisturizers like it's just if you have dry skin your skin will literally drink this up because it just works really good i basically just apply it to my skin. I took a little hiatus again because school has been literally kicking my butt and I apologize for that and I was literally trying to find time to literally film just the video. This week I was like I'm dedicating this week to YouTube and I was like I miss you guys and school in general like I'm giving myself that grace because obviously like I know that uh, my school right now is like a really big priority of mine and I'm literally almost done with school So that just makes me even more excited just to kind of you know Get this whole process of becoming a teacher and just in general it kind of just I guess getting my career started after I graduate which guys <laughs> Okay, I this was it last week. I think I got the news that basically I am applicable to graduate for in April for my master's degree in education and you guys have been on this journey with me with school since the jump of me barely getting my bachelor's degree which is insane to know that I can look back on footage and know that like it's all there so real quick but and then I'll jump back into it but I'm mixing these two products right here this is my sunscreen right here and this is also just this is called the yummy skin glow serum i i feel like i'm gonna say her name wrong and i'm sorry but it's the danessa merricks or denisa merricks beauty brand and it just works absolutely amazing this is a really good glow serum i would kind of say it's maybe somewhat kind of like what is the brand glossier um like the consistency a little bit of it but it kind of just has like that really like bronzy texture of it i think I think from what I remember, I want to see the Glossier one is kind of like that too. I think, <laughs> I don't remember, I haven't used that product in a long time, but I just like to mix that with my sunscreen. And I've been wearing sunscreen a lot more, even now that I'm getting older. But yes, going back to that guys, so I basically had to submit an application for my committee to basically approve of it, of me being able to graduate and they accepted it. So I do walk in April, which is insane. Cause I, I just, it. Tell me if it's not just me, but it legit feels sometimes like the pandemic was just like yesterday. And it, because I graduated during the pandemic and fast forward now, like two and a half years later, I'm getting my master's degree in education and my teaching credentials is basically gonna be put on pause just because I'm actually gonna have my very first break from school during the summer. So after I graduated with my bachelor's degree, I kind of not necessarily jumped into my master's program, but I took like a year gap off. And during that year, once I entered my program, I, there was no break. Like I legit was like in school literally 24 seven. Like I had my fall, 
quarter, my fall semester, and then I had my spring semester, and then I had my summer, and then went back into fall again, and then now I'm gonna finish off in spring again. So I technically never had a break, and hence why I was always on the go with school, and I felt like life was just completely just like, on the go and obviously i wanted to vlog like legit i'm gonna be vlogging a lot more this week because i i'm telling you guys i'm i mean it when i say wholeheartedly like i love youtube and i love being able to like have this like literally relationship with you guys and i literally have a whole bunch of like video ideas that like i'm excited to film and i'm about to expose myself because i think i'm reflecting now is that like like get back into it i was so like not even mad but i was just like stephanie like get back to all like post a video girl so i was basically putting myself on check and i was like yeah yeah no mas they like excuses or not that i'm saying like school was like an excuse because obviously i know but at the same time I'm like stephanie you got it balance it girl balance to find this balance that you got so that's kind of where i'm at right now but i wanted to give you guys such a big update on that and like let you guys know like i'm graduating and i'm screaming a pure joy it feels like such like a long time like i've been doing school and i was thinking about even pursuing my phd but no sé, no sé. Uh, I also wanted to say thank you guys so much just for like last time I posted a video it was about my weight loss and I responded to a lot of you guys when that video went live and I know obviously like two months have passed and I had gotten so many responses of just like pure honestly guys you just you guys are just so sweet to me and like thank you for like building this community with me because for real I, I, I know I say this all the time but I, I legit wouldn't be here in a way where of like having this platform if it wasn't for you guys and I will always be a thousand percent like upfront with you guys and say thank you because you know you guys were the ones that kind of I guess in somewhat way saw that potential in me and just saw that stuff and like I want to watch this girl's content and just thank you for even giving me a chance and it means the world to me of any sort to just even have a platform like this where like I can just be honest with you guys and have this community where I'm like just talking about like I don't know random stuff like talking about like do you guys want to go to Whole Foods or like Sprouts and Trader Joe's <laughs> because that's just the community we built where it's literally just it's just us and it's like a safe space I just realized I literally smathered bronzer onto my face but I've been trying this thing called like underpainting I real quick just use the rose ink um, cream bronzer and this one works really really good i really like it it's really lightweight which i like a lot so kind of focus that a little bit more to like basically my brow bones and stuff basic my brow bone basically to my forehead and a little bit above my brow bone <gasps> no y'all did y'all see that dude i don't know if i'm the only one but literally this is the most beautiful highlight ever but for some odd reason this highlight always breaks always and i didn't even realize it till for now like my third one and last time i sh the, okay the last time it was my fault i literally dropped in and felt like this completely my fault but i literally just opened it right now <laughs> i just feel like in general god has been like showing me things about myself where i feel like i had to like relearn and reevaluate the things that were in my life and just remember that like you know things happen legit for a reason and it may not even be what you expected because god has a completely different plan from what one may think and it's in just it's just insane because you know i'm could be doing something today and then god's like jk girl you ain't doing that today you're doing something different <laughs> and it's just like a whole complete 360 and i'm very grateful for like just like these moments that I have with God. I know I'm not even remotely close to ever being perfect, but what I value is that God legit sees me just as like the daughter he created. I had to kind of like basically retell myself and reevaluate and be like, girl, like if God, your heavenly father was not comparing you to anybody else when creating you, why are you, you know? I did put like a quick little skin tint serum. I mixed, this is the Elia, this one, this is like legit, like a light serum. Chef's kiss, love it, love it, love it, love it. So I mixed this with a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury one. If there's one thing that I have just been like really, really loving recently, blush like blush is i love it also i did put a little bit of concealer real quick i've been using recently the house labs one if you guys have any recommendations this one is pretty honestly i kind of have no complaints about this one 
But if you guys do have any recommendations of concealers that are like full coverage, because <laughs> if you guys can tell, like my bags are pretty like depth of just like they sink in and I love my bags. No, no hate towards these bags, but I know that like these sleepless nights, they be just catching up to me sometimes. And I'm just like, sometimes I feel like I need a little bit more coverage. So I don't know, like I feel like this concealer works really good. I do have to layer it just a little bit, a little bit, but my sister uses this and she doesn't even have to layer it at all. I think it's just because my bags in general are very deep and like caved in. So I'm pretty sure you guys heard part of this one. It was kind of all over TikTok, but um, it was the Dior blush right here. And this is in the shade Rosy Glow. So when I first had saw this blush, I was like, there is absolutely no way in heck. Cause when I swatched this, I was like, dude, there's no pigment. I was like, it's very faint. I was like, this is not even gonna show up. And I'm like, I need to return this. <laughs> so, but surprisingly, when I actually applied it to my skin, it showed up really, really nice. And I was kind of shocked and I was like, okay. So I like to add blush first because I like to kind of, I saw this one thing, I think Patrick Tall was actually the one who said that for his blushes, he prefers putting the powder first and then the cream on top to kind of give it like that dewy glow. So I don't have his blush, but I do have that Dior blush. And then what I do like to do is then mix a cream blush on top, which this is the Refi one. I don't know what the heck is in this blush, but it just leaves the most beautiful, glowy, natural finish. And then oh, I love it. I just take like an old elf little brush <laughs> brush and I'm just literally patting that onto my skin right here. And as you can see, like, dude, I every time I put this on, I'm just kind of in shock. I'm like, wow, this blush actually works really good. So <laughs> then I like to go in with the Refi dual brush. I use this for the bronzer and then I use this for the blush. And then I like to just kind of go in real quickly and then just lightly put a little bit of blush. Cause I know I'm gonna still add a little bit more blush because when I blend out my concealer, sometimes the concealer kind of overpowers the blush and then the blush kind of just goes away. <laughs> but I do like to take very lightly, just a little bit of that. Oh, I don't think you guys have even seen this just quite yet, but I have been kind of like redecorating my room again and Tell me why I I legit had never geeked out so hard over a furniture piece. Just saw this guys at the thrift store at Salvation Army. You, I wish you guys would have seen my reaction because I dragged it from one side of the store to the other side of the store and I was like, I'm buying this. And then my boyfriend was like, uh, do you need help carrying that? And I was like, nah, man, I got it. <laughs> and then he just starts laughing at me. And then, but it's just funny because like legit, me and him tend to thrift quite a lot actually like we we love thrifting and after when i had purchased it and everything i had sent him a picture of how i set it up he was like he's like honestly he's like that looks really cool and i'll show you guys maybe like right now like once i'm done with my makeup real quick of how everything kind of came out but kind of obsessed with it and i really really like it and it's probably one of my favorite things i've thrifted recently for brows i am going to be taking the glossier boy brow right here and i'm using this in the shade black and i have really dark eyebrows <laughs> like tremendously to the max let me go ahead and zoom guys in just a little bit i'm gonna just take a little bit all right copy that <laughs> i'm gonna take a little bit of my little brow product right here and literally just applying that to my brows Again, I have really, really thick eyebrows. I have it from my dad. <laughs> so uh, I'm just taking a little bit of that. And then there is one place in the world you guys would want to travel to. Where would it be and why? I've been really wanting to travel to New York. That has been on my bucket list for so, so long. And I'm trying to see when is the best time to go. Like. For me, December would be beautiful to witness like the winter time season, but at the same time, I know myself and I'm literally, I'm anemic. So I will probably be freezing my chachapangas. So I'm like, you know what, maybe I shouldn't. And then, so I'm thinking if anything, kind of giving that as like my own little graduation gift and going in April after I graduate. So my family did want to go to like a place to kind of travel to basically every summer, which is Cancun and we love going and my heart this summer was kind of in butterflies because I don't really, again, I don't, I keep my relationship private, but I keep it private, but not a secret. You get me? Like there's a complete difference. There's a complete difference when one could keep a, a relationship a secret, but no, I'm very much so like, 
head over heels <laughs> and I love my partner a lot and he's just amazing and not me getting all cheesy sorry guys but um what's it called he got to experience a family trip with us and it was just I'm telling you my insides were like screaming because I when I tell you guys that it's crazy because when you meet a person that you just kind of know and you know when people used to say that I'll be like what do you mean <laughs> like my people used to say like when you meet your person you just know and I was like okay like sure <laughs> and then fast forward now like we've been together me and him for like a year and like maybe it'll be a year and three months upcoming um but like, it's just crazy because a year later ish and like here we are and i feel like i've known my best friend for like my whole entire life which is insane and i don't know guys it's <laughs> maybe one day i'll film like a whole video of like how we met and just like all of that but for now i'm just kind of enjoying the moments with him and just experiencing life and i'm hoping you know that would be amazing to like go to new york see the world together and i'm pretty sure my sister would be attending with us i'm pretty sure my sister's like i'm coming with y'all because my sister loves to travel as well so and my sister why would i not want her there with me so technically we're gonna moving on to bronzer a little bit just to kind of warm up the face what i do like to do next is take a little bit of my highlighter right here which this is going to be the rare beauty one um, the one that I just broke apparently that I didn't even was aware of I'm gonna take just a little bit of her highlight dude. This breaks my little heart. I'm so sad that it's broken um, I'm gonna take a little bit to my brow bone To my nose Cupid's bow and then as well as just a little dash right here on the center Yeah, okay. I'm gonna take a little bit of highlight right here Dude see I'm telling you her highlight is so I don't know, there's something that Miss Selena puts in her highlighter because her highlight in general, her products are just absolutely stunning. And it's just the most beautiful thing ever. And I'm just putting that a little bit to my Cupid's bow and then right here as well. Let me zoom you guys out just a little bit. So next we'll be taking, just to kind of set my face now, I'll be using the House Labs. This is their Blurring Loose Powder. Um, and it just looks like this. Her packaging also is just freaking beautiful, guys. Taking my house labs, I just put it on the back right here of another palette. And I'm just taking some of that powder and putting that on the back of my hand just to kind of set it. I really like this powder because it tends to like honestly legit blur everything. And then I used to mix this powder with, I believe it was, um, I think it was the Laura Mercier. But I, what I noticed within this powder, let me know if this happens to you guys too, if you guys use it. But I feel like with her powder, I can't mix it with something else. Like, it kind of tends to almost look a little too cakey. So I feel like her powder only meshes well with her powders. Um, so I was like, huh, that's weird. So recently I've just been kind of using hers more. And I mean, hers alone works really good, but I kind of like that little brightness effect that um the laura mercier also provides i'm gonna go be going back in a little bit to kind of touch up the little blush area right here but before i do that i want to set the face and then we'll go back into that so i'm going to take my charlotte tilbury uh, airbrush flawless finishing setting spray and then i literally try my best not to smile or anything because <laughs> basically it for the face makeup guys and I guess this is a little bit like my everyday makeup routine as, as far as like when I actually want to wear like a full face. If not, I literally just wear concealer and mascara, <laughs> but also, okay. So we're going to just kind of finish off this makeup look with some eyes and I'm probably not going to do anything too, too crazy, but, um, I really, really, tr I tried these two shades yesterday or the day before and I loved it. So I'm going to take those two same ones again. As you guys know, I'm very much so a neutral type of girl. I love me some brown and when I first saw this shade on the palette I was like oh yeah it's gonna be like a regular like just a regular shade nothing too crazy and when I tell you the pigment was beautiful I was like hold on a second I was like this is so nice same thing and then that'll be basically the look for the eyes today again I keep it simple <laughs> and then I'm gonna take probably the same type of shades and then put that along my lower lash line 
Is it too soon for Christmas music? <laughs> I love Christmas. It is never too early for Christmas. <laughs> Right, guys i think the only thing left we need to do is just put some mascara on i'm gonna be taking the mascara right here this is the maybelline the rocket mascara this is from this is their waterproof one and then i like to take the it super goop i like to mix these two let me tell you guys i still have not found just like one holy grail mascara where i don't have to mix but i don't mind mixing mascaras i really don't mind <laughs> but these two just work amazing and so what i normally just do is i uh, just mix these two mascaras and i'll just take a little bit of the maybelline the rocket tell me why right now the only thing that was coming into my head was like we give you this and this we give you a princess i don't know why that was in my head right now and i was thinking about that if you guys know that movie a reference you're amazing <laughs> i'm gonna answer the reference right here still polo is exhausted the only polo Gonna take this and this and give you a princess. princess. The only thing I need left to do is just apply some lips. And this is actually the lip shade I've been, I, I normally, as you guys know, I would never wear like an actual lipstick color. But the one I've been gravitating towards you recently has been this one. It's by Say. And this is in the shade um, Modern. I mix it on top with the e.l.f. lip oil. And this is in the shade honey talks and legit guys this is the most beautiful lip gloss i think i've ever like even just let me just put it on like this for you guys dude literally such a pretty lip gloss and it was only i think like six bucks just put a little bit on top like it's nothing too crazy whatsoever but it's just such a pretty color okay so this is but yeah okay so this is the completed makeup look i really like it i think it's really natural but still kind of just enhances some of like some features of mine that like i just i just i don't know i like it yeah guys i hope you guys liked this little chit chat get ready with me if you guys want to keep up with me throughout the weeks and just see what the heck this girl right here is doing i will leave my instagram handle right here for you guys and i love you guys dearly with all my heart and thank you so much for being you thank you for being here thank you for being alive thank you just for being you and with all of that being said i hope you guys did enjoy this week's video if you guys did do not forget to give it a big schniggy and as always guys be your own kind of beautiful and spread peace love and positivity and i'll see you guys beautiful faces next week bye oh wait hold on i wanted to show you guys this look at what i put in my room wait Ta -da! Is this? <laughs> it, i love it <laughs> okay i love you guys and i'll see you guys next week bye